Hello, my name is Trevor Youngberg and I'm a working wood-fired potter in Woodbridge, Connecticut. So the most challenging part of making a piece is revisiting it in a way that reflects my personality, my interests now. Oftentimes I'm working in traditional forms that people are familiar with, like bowls, cups, and jugs. But the, the challenge is figuring out what is it that interests me about this form? Really, why am I, have I chosen to make this series right now? And uh, what am I gonna concentrate on? What's the, what, what's the sense, um, what am I trying to convey through this series? And what I've oftentimes found is that it's not always very clear what I'm trying to say through that series. And I found that with about a year's delay, I could see how I felt where I was and what I was saying a year ago. But right now, it's not always, you know, it's not point A to point B. It's not really clear cut. I just know that I have this, this drive and this need to make this form now. And maybe later I'll know why. The most challenging part of creating a life of faith is navigating my, my, my way through culture. Um, I've, what I love about pottery is that it's accompanied me from age 18 until now. I'm 46. So you're developing your identity. You're developing your character. Um, from the first day I started making pottery, I was able to apply lessons learned in the studio to my life and so what I've found is that in those years since I was 18 I've become more and more comfortable in my own skin my insecurities have diminished my confidence has risen so find early on the challenge was more how do I exercise my faith in in society where it seems almost like taboo to even bring up Christianity you know, there's all kinds of pushback that you could find if you come off being preachy with others. And so for those many years in my early adult life where I was just waiting to make a connection in some way with another Christian outside of my family and church, right? So that's happened um, in more recent years more and more often. Not only have I been more comfortable in sharing my thoughts and ideas, but it's come up more with, with friends somehow. Um, I've even had a really interesting conversation with a friend who's an atheist about a year ago. And somehow through our conversation, I was able to share like the rational side of being a Christian with him in a way that was compelling. I'm not saying he's a Christian right now, but through our conversation, I had conveyed it to him in a way that he had never heard it before. And it, he was almost there. I'm keeping up the faith that it'll come up a few more times in conversation over time. But it's that, it's that societal kind of like pressure and in combined with my level of maturity over the years that now I'm kind of to the point where I would, I, I'm a Christian and if it ever comes up or if there's any opportunity to just address the fact that I'm a Christian, I'm not perfect, I'm full of faults, and just because I say I'm a Christian doesn't mean if I do something that you don't disagree with that, you know, somehow Christianity is, is a farce or something like that, you know. I'm going to mess up, but I'm going to admit it. I'm going to apologize too. The way I keep growing and honing my skills is by broadening the footprint of my pottery in general. So early on, I was focused more on working solo in the studio and doing everything I could that involved just my energy input into my work. It was sort of like this almost like selfish focus, knowing that there's a bigger picture out there, but it was like really condensed on just me. Um, so as I've matured over the years, I found that um, that is an, a sustaining way of going about it. It's a very necessary initial component. But as I've matured, I found that, okay, I have two little ones and I'm, I'm like a mature artist now, right? So it's not just about me or just about the sales of work, but it's more about what kind of um, impact are you having on others? What kind of friendships are you creating? What kind of experiences, what, 
you know, how, how, how can you share this experience for embettering the lives of others, which, which kind of comes right back to myself. Like, that sense of satisfaction isn't derived from just having a kill load of beautiful pots come out. It's more about memories created, which is why I get back to the wood firing. It's all about the lead up to the wood firing, gathering with friends to split wood, to glaze pots, to load. I mean, that's a, there's so much back work. You know, the four days of firing is nothing compared to all the lead up time. And so it's getting a group of guys together to work, or friends, women as well, absolutely, and enjoy that process of putting in that work and that effort and uh, celebrate, you know, just the time we share together leading up to it. So as long as, as long as I know that people's lives are being enhanced through these processes, that's how I'll continue. A passage in the Bible that resonates with both my faith and my interest in pottery um, is in Isaiah. Um, three times it's, it's referred to that God is the potter and we are the clay. So my interpret interpretation of that, that scripture is unique to me because I'm actually a potter. So when I think of that scripture, I think of God, yes, being the potter, and we being the clay in the sense that there's a relationship, there's a development, there's a discovery. And as that relationship develops, um, this, the subtlety, the strength, and the power increases. Just like when you're making a piece of pottery, you can bring an idea, but when you're working with that clay directly, there's going to be a growth, there's going to be a change in something other than you may have expected. And so that discovery uh, brings delight, happiness, and joy. And so that spurs you on to do the next piece. If there weren't that discovery and that growth and that joy derived from the process, I'd find, find myself um, be, becoming interested in possibly something else. I'd, I'd get bored. So there has to be that dynamic aspect to the process, whether it's in my life of faith, whether, whether it's in my pottery, to keep that excitement about life kind of going.